you were at the uh, the Santorum camp, the headquarters last night. What was the mood like? Was everybody crying into their beer? Uh, they weren't quite crying into their beer, but it was it was really stunning. I was at his victory party in in Iowa, and about 8:15, you know, as around Mitt Romney's getting ready to speak, about 90 percent of the crowd there either had a camera, was 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 a reporter, or some member of the media. Hmm. Uh, it, it, and other people I were talking to, you know, they, they weren't necessarily Rick Santorum fans. They just wanted to check out the scenery. Um, and, and these people said, you know, we realize New Hampshire is a different state. And, and they, they gave a variety of reasons why he did not do as well in New Hampshire. Okay. Well, was there any finger, finger pointing and, and, um, in that sort of discussion of why he didn't do as well? Or is, or are uh -huh. they just trying to look forward? They were trying. Everyone said, you know, he can do a lot better in South Carolina. But there, were, there was finger pointing at, at fellow New Hampshire voters who they said are, are moderate to the point of being liberal. There was finger pointing at the state of Florida who they said, you know, moved their primary up so early that it forced New Hampshire to move up early. And, and Rick Santorum didn't have time to catch on in New Hampshire. I, I do uh, like I do like that the name calling though these 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 Republican voters were were actually liberals in in disguises. Um, Let's talk about the money, though. Rick, Rick Santorum doesn't have a lot of money. That would seem to me to be a problem in American politics, particularly presidential politics. What's he going to do about that? Um, well, he's going to have to show some real signs of momentum in South Carolina to start uh, to keep that money flowing in. Uh, Rick Santorum raised um, relatively for him a ton of money after his near win in Iowa, and the campaign said it has already committed a um, million dollars for South Carolina for TV ads, and direct mail. And, and, and that might be, you know, that's what Mitt Romney has already spent on TV in, in South Carolina. But for Rick Santorum, he has never sort of gotten into this, uh, this big dollar campaigning. But, but a million bucks can be gone like that in a campaign like this. Yeah. That, can be a few, that can be a few ads. And I know South Carolina ads, uh, ads can be a little bit cheaper than in some other states, but it still can be gone in a snip. How is he going to, how is he going to, I mean, wh where are the buckets of money coming from that he's going to need? I mean, he's not going to be able to go door to door to door just kissing babies and shaking hands. No, he, South Carolina is far too big and far too many babies to kiss. But what he can do, I mean, what he will have to do is figure out some way in, in the next week, and in, in this primary is in 10 days, is to get these social conservatives to, to rally behind him, to sort of to ditch Rick Perry, to, to ditch Newt Gingrich. Um, and, and, and there is no sign that that's going to happen. Um, and Newt Gingrich, if anything, has shown he is going to go, go through with this until this is over, uh, whether he's the nominee or not. And Rick Perry and his advisors show no sign of letting up, especially until after South Carolina. So, I mean, Rick Santorum really has his work cut out for him in, in trying to sort of do a repeat of Iowa.